In this video, we're going to operate function relating to display, categories, information, layers, and bezel motion vectors. So first thing we're going to do is to set information layers to base, standard, and all customs. So to do that, as you can see, our chart indicates all of the information needed for the navigation. So to bring it to standard, if you're going to press standard, all information indicated on the standard menu will going to disappear. To bring it back, press display set chart display then go to display chart display so in order to bring it back you need to go to others and click all of this information spot sounding submarine cables pipelines, all isolated danger marks, magnetic variation, depth contour, seabed, tidal, natural man-made, port features, including miscellaneous. So take a look. After you press save, it will go back to the setting that you are set before. The close. Next is we're going to set a safe depth contour. So to do that, you need to go to display. Oh, sorry. Display set. So you need to go to display, set, then to chart alert. Now, after pressing chart alert, you can see the chart alert information. We have shallow contour, safety depth, safety contour, and deep contour. So, you can change the value according to your graph and UKC requirement of your company. Then, press reset. Sample this one. Change it to 9. Then. Okay. So, this is the standard. So, for example, you need to change the 13. You need to press save. So all of the coloring indicated by the shallow color or contour, safety depth and safety contour are going to also change. Okay. So for example, we're going to change the values. safety depth, safety contour, and deep contour, you need to press save. So the color of safety depth, safety contour is going to change. But if you want to return it to the base display, all you need to do is press reset. So just observe if we're going to press reset. Then save. There you go. It will going to go back to base display. Now to to set daylight viewing modes, including brightness and contrast. First, we need to close this one. 
So we need to go to the left side corner. So change color pattern to dust. Let's put it on gray. So this is typically used at night. So to change again, I can also put it in night or in blue. So to return it, yeah, change color pattern, put it on day and blue. So it will go back to day mode. Now to change the brightness or backlight, you can adjust according to your prepare mode. Okay. Now next is to to choose between traditional and simplified symbol. You need to go to display, then set, then chart display. So under chart display, we have symbol. As you can see, now we are using paper chart. So this 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 is the traditional. So if you're going to change it to simplify, just change it. Just click the mouse. And it will go into change to simplify. Then don't forget to press save. So there you go. So if you want to return it to paper chart, click paper chart, then press save. Okay. Now, to set the vector length. Now to set the vector length. To see the changes, we need to the range of the chart then at the right lower corner change the vector one minute to three minutes so as you can see the length of the vector is going to change here so make it five Six. So that is how we're going to change the length of the vector. Next is to change the track history length. So to change track history length, we need to go to log, then nav log, and details. So in here, we can change set period until what date you need to make a track so this is how you're going to change the track history link. so if you want to show the track just press show now preparing so you can observe so I need to close this in order for us to see so you can see the track behind the hour of ship. Now to check the information about the heading, you can go to right upper corner. So you can see the information about ship's heading, speed including course over ground and speed over ground. The next one is to set all other parameters concerning safety domain in order for us to monitor if we are still on the track. Is we need to go to display and set basic setting. Under general, we have ship and route parameters. Just press. So we have ship and route. So under this, you can change the maximum speed, maximum height of the ship, maximum drop, and including the route parameters. So maximum rate of turn, minimum radius, waypoint approach. So to 
default safety margin is 40 minutes waypoint free warning 180 seconds default line radius so the limit is 0.8 nautical miles and the default distance limit to the track is 180 meters so beyond that we're going to or you're going to receive an alarm it means that you are off track so instant track there's also a delay before initiating first turn about 60 seconds the turning radius is one nautical mile so the limit is at auto so if you want to put it in manual you need to change the distance but at this time we need to put it in auto so again in order for that to activate you need to save the next one is going to select two or four color contour mode so again we need to go to display then set we need to go to chart display so it automatically goes to chart display under chart display there is a four color shade or four shades so you can observe we only have two color shade of the contour we got blue and green including the white or the deeper water so it's going to select four shades you can observe after pressing the save it will go into turn to four color shape there you go so to return it uncheck or untick then save it will go back to two color shape the next is to select the safety contour and safety tab now to change the safety contour and safety depth, again you need to go to display, set, then chart alert. In chart alert, you can see the chart alert setting. In here, I'm going to demonstrate you how to change C caution to warning. But if you observe, at the safety contour, you cannot change it because it's already changed, uh, set to alarm. That is the basic setting. So you cannot change that. So to change the value of the safety contour, just type what do you prepare. so you need to press save in order to set that and the safety contour color we're going to change including the other parameters like shallow contour safety depth and deep contour but if you want to return it to, to, to the base you need to press set reset and then press save so that's all for the function relating to display categories information layers and vessels motion vectors